today we're going to be unboxing the new digital wireless, the System 10. And uh, this is going to be a little different unboxing because we're going to unbox and then I'm also going to do a little bit of a sales pitch and I'm also going to do a little bit of a setup instruction. So we'll kind of get the whole thing in one uh, fell swoop. So here we go, here's our System 10, you can see right here, we have a handheld system. This is also available in a body pack system, both in guitar and head-worn and uh, presentation head-worn. This is Audio-Technica's first foray into a performance digital wireless, and I think we hit one out of the park with this one. So we're gonna open this box up, and what do we, we are presented with a warranty statement and an owner's manual. The warranty on this is two years. We'll get rid of that over there. And then we have the lovely product in the box, kind of all bagged up here. Um, first thing we're gonna do is pull out a clip. This is a standard issue microphone clip. The second thing we have is our, what they call wall warp power supply. This one's kind of nice, because it only takes up one space. So you're not gonna kind of steal a bunch of space on your power strip. We'll plug that in in a second. We have kind of the star of the show here, which is the handheld microphone. Again, this is a digital wireless system operating in 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, that's gonna be well outside any of the broadcast TV and anything that you've been hearing about the FCC regulations. So we're gonna be safe there. So there's our handheld. Then we're gonna go for our receiver. This is a nice space saving receiver. Nice industrial design on this. We have two antennas, which is space diversity, which we're gonna get into in a second. And the thing that's nice about this is this wireless is literally the easiest wireless we have to operate. And it's also, uh, interestingly enough, one of the most complex wireless we have, but that doesn't matter to you because you just plug it in and it works. And if for some reason you ever need to change anything, we have instructions right on the bottom of the receiver. So you can't really get yourself into too much hot water on this guy. So we have our box here, empty box. Hopefully uh, the kids can make some kind of craft out of this. You can recycle it or store your wireless in it. And I say this is the easiest to use wireless. And one of the reasons for that is because this is a full duplex wireless system. And what that means is the transmitter and the receiver talk back and forth. Most wireless that everyone has used before, the transmitter, it's what they call a simplex. It's a one-way communication that the transmitter talks to the receiver. But in this guy, we have data being shared all the time, which is very cool. Um, what does that mean? We say that this wireless has what we call three levels of diversity assurance. And that's kind of a weird, kind of funny thing, kind of marketing speak. What does that mean? It gets really kind of Twilight Zone-ish here because we have space, time, and frequency diversity. Weird. Well, the space is going to be the one that sounds the most out there, but it's actually the most easy to grasp. What it means is we have two antennas, and they have space between them. So we're actually going to receive two signals into this receiver, and we're going to be able to compare those signals, okay? That's what the space diversity is. In this, however, it's kind of interesting. In the body pack and the handheld, we actually have two antennas in the transmitter. So we actually have space diversity in the transmitter and receiver. That's going to give you rock solid RF. The second kind of diversity we have is what we call time. Now we have to kind of think outside the box. We're talking digital wireless here. When we say time diversity, and I, it took me a long time to get my head around this, Things happen in frames, and a frame is like an instant in time, and this frame can actually be divided into little slots, okay? So when my transmitter begins to transmit, it actually transmits two signals separated by a very brief moment in time. So at my receiver, it receives it into two different slots in this, uh, in this frame. So the receiver then can look at time one and time two and decide which is the better signal. So now we have time diversity. That's kind of a heady concept, but it uh, helps with multipath distortion and whatnot. Now the third thing we have, which really makes this system sing, is what we call frequency diversity. Now frequency diversity means when I turn my receiver on, the first thing it does is it looks at the RF spectrum in that 2.4 gigahertz. And it takes a couple channels and it says, these are clean channels, I'm gonna use these. And then it looks and it takes a couple other uh, frequencies and kind of puts them in its back pocket. So when I turn on my transmitter, remember we have full duplex communication, the receiver talks to the transmitter and says, here's the two frequencies we're gonna use. So all of a sudden my transmitter is transmitting at two frequencies simultaneously. At the receiver, it compares those frequencies and uses the best one, that's the frequency diversity. 
But this also does something else where the frequencies are dynamically allocated. So let's say one of those frequencies deteriorates. The receiver finds a new frequency, remember in the back pocket, sends it up to the transmitter. So it is constantly frequency hopping. Uh, this gives us really rock solid RF in this system. So we have three levels of diversity assurance, as I said, frequency, space, and time, and now you know what that means. Digging into the receiver here, it's pretty standard fare. We have a quarter inch output with level control. We also have a XLR output. Here we have our AC in with a little strain relief. So when you plug your power supply in here, you take the cable and you wrap it around that little hook and it prevents it from being pulled out. That's all that is. Again, this system is interesting in the sense that everything happens without you knowing it. Um, we're going to plug this in and I'm going to show you uh, how easy this is to set up. So the first thing we're going to do is put some batteries in our transmitter. So there we have our batteries installed. And then I'm going to plug in our receiver. Okay, so here we have a number on our receiver. Now the interesting thing about this system is that number means absolutely nothing. Uh, what it tells us is when I turn this transmitter on, it's gonna blink, it's finding the receiver, and there we have it. Green means go. We have a soft touch switch on the bottom. We hold to turn it on. We push it once, we're in mute. Red means mute. If that were to blink, that would mean low battery. So red blinky or green blinky means low battery. And that's really all there is to the setup, folks. Essentially, you plug your receiver in and you put batteries in your transmitter. As I said, simplest wireless in the world to use. Now, I told you before that this number really doesn't mean anything. What it means is what our transmitter and receiver is paired. So when I see one on here, I know this receiver is number one. The thing that gets tricky, if I were to use two systems, remember you can use up to eight simultaneous systems. If I were to use two systems, they could both say number one and work. So maybe I don't want that. Maybe I have multiple systems and I wanna change the number that tells me what transmitter and receiver go together. So what I would do in that case, I come over here and on the receiver we have two things. We have a system ID button and a pair button. I'm gonna push the system ID number until I find a number I wanna use, let's say four, and I'm gonna push and hold the pair button. Okay, once I do that, my pair light is going to blink. This means I am in pairing mode. Now it's looking for a transmitter. We can see now also my transmitter lost its mate. It's looking for a pair. So we go in here, we see a pair button here. I'm gonna hold that, now I'm in pair mode. Now you can see my display automatically picked up that four, Remember, we have full duplex communication. Now I've just changed the system number from one to four. Didn't do anything else. I didn't change frequency. We don't know what frequency it's on. It's hopping all the time. Um, again, all we did was change the number. To conserve battery, this is gonna go out after a few seconds. If you ever need to know what the system number is, you tap the mute button and it'll show your display again. Really, that's, that's all there is to this system. It's amazingly easy to work. It's a 24-bit. Uh, 48K operation, so the frequency response is amazing. Uh, works great on guitar, vocals, and is amazing bass, because it does have that full bandwidth, so bass guitar sounds great on this system. The receivers, as I said, you can use up to eight simultaneous system, and they are stack mountable. So you see we have little nesting notches in the receiver and the mating feet, and we can actually stack multiple units, so they are stack-mountable, we like to say. And that's our System 10 Digital Wireless from Audio-Technica. I hope you like it.